I definitely feel more prepared for this one. I don't know why, I, I, I feel like this one seems less intimidating considering I've done it before, kind of different, but like, you know, these are the classic cupcakes that you get at any grocery store. And I'm gonna try to hand pick off all the sprinkles from each one and then separate the icing and then the cupcake. And I'm just gonna go in this order so I have them all ready. And thank you so much to Zynga's Words of Friends too for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna download the game, you can do that through the link in the description box below. My hands have become very sticky. <laughs> I have not made cake pops in years, but these aren't cake pops, but yet they kind of are. They're just like a new modern, like bougie cake pop. But what I know about them is that the consistency of the dough is really important and that it's made up of just like cake being crumbled together mixed with icing. So my thought was if I could separate the icing and the cake, or yeah, if I could separate the icing and the cupcake, then I can control the consistency rather than just trying to like smush the cupcake and icing together. I feel like that's good and crumbled. Oh my God, it smells good. So I feel like this is still, like it would form a dough. Like you can see like, it's a dough, but I feel like it might not be strong enough because when I squish it, it gets cracks in it. So I want a bit more icing. I think I felt a sprinkle. I did feel a sprinkle. I'm getting a little concerned that I only have this much dough from like four dozen mini cupcakes. Like I know that you, you, cause you're condensing it down, you don't get as much, but I hope we don't have to go get more cause this isn't gonna make very many. That's a good dough. I squeeze it, it doesn't have too many cracks. It feels nice and sticky. I can definitely mold it. I think we've got it. Oh, I felt another sprinkle. Kevin, help me go through the four dozen cupcakes. Here we go. And I'm just saying that I think that these like loose sprinkles that I'm finding are probably not my fault. You made me get my fingers sticky to help you and then you go blaming me on camera. <laughs> That's good. That's a good dough. Okay. I got these molds on Amazon a couple weeks ago and it seems like they work in different ways. These ones are cakesicles. So you put in your cake pop dough first, but the hearts you're supposed to layer in a layer of chocolate and then the cake pop dough, and then another layer of chocolate. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to get these ones done and get these ones in the fridge. A freezer maybe? Maybe freezer to get them really hard. There's a spot I can stick through a popsicle stick, but my concern is how am I getting these out of the mold? Like I've seen lots of videos on making these, but they always fail to show the shots of them being taken out of the molds, and I'm guessing that's because that's the tricky finicky part. I mean, they're cute so far. Let's get them in the freezer. I just got some white chocolate melts and for the first time ever, I actually bought food coloring meant for chocolate. Every time I've ever dyed chocolate, I've always just used like my regular gel-based food coloring, but apparently it has water in it that makes your chocolate seize. This is supposed to solve all of those problems. I really want to make these like the trendiest, bougiest, little kind of treatsicles ever. So this one, I'm thinking if I can just do like multiple colors and then pour some white chocolate on top of it and kind of give it like a little bit of like a marble or something like that. I want them all to be solid color. That would be very boring. We don't create boring things. And then the other one, I thought I would do it like half and half. Do half one color and half the other color. Okay, I'm just gonna do one solid white. That way I can do like a really fancy, sparkly, glittery color dust on top of it. That's what I'm going for. I feel like gold, whoop, makes everything fancy. Anything with like gold dust, gold leaf, gold glitter is just gonna make everything really fancy. So I'm mixing a little bit of my gold dust with some vodka because alcohol, it really helps, I don't know, dilute the gold dust and make you be able to paint with it and stuff because then the alcohol evaporates. That's what I've usually done. I'm just gonna let these chill now and then I can put the cake pop dough in them. While those ones set, I'm gonna try to take these out. Oh. <gasps> Oh my, look at it glide. I was expecting it to like stick and be hard and not be able to like pull them out. But look, it just pulls out so nicely. Kind of wonky looking. Kind of wonky. Look at how wonky that is. No, I mean, they've got like a little bit of like character to their shape, but I won't call them wonky. <laughs> oh my God, there's a sprinkle. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to figure out, I mean, I've seen them dipped in big cups, but this feels like a lot of chocolate, but then this feels like a lot of chocolate. I don't really have like a small vessel to dip the chocolate in. I feel like I'm making a science experiment. 
<laughs> looks so cool. Okay, so I'm melting the white chocolate and I'm trying to get like a good color going, but with a lot of chocolate. And I definitely want those bold colors to kind of match the hearts, but you know. I also added a little bit of shortening, a little bit of melted shortening to the chocolate to help thin it out because it just seems so thick that I felt like it was not gonna dip nicely, but I hope this is enough that can, you know. Oh. oh. Should I just stop mixing? I know we were gonna go one solid color with this, but should I just dip it? Oh no, I need to do it in the cup. I need to put a different cup. I don't think this is deep enough. I'm working quickly, I'm working quickly. I figure, I like the look of it. I've just melted my chocolate again, so that way it's nice and warm. I'm gonna add these three different colors in and like try to just get that look again where it was like marbled on top, because that looked amazing. I think that's good, I think that's good. brainstorm. In the meantime, I'd like to thank Singa's Words of Friends 2 for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I have been playing Words of Friends 2 for over 10 years. I'm obsessed with this game. I love playing at night to unwind and relax, but like I'm obsessed with the lightning round. I find it really challenging. It's so fast paced and you've just got, like, got to keep up with it, but it distracts my mind from everything going on. I'm super excited about their newest feature launched on November 2nd called Rewards Pass. You can earn really cool, unique rewards by completing goals in the game. And the theme changes every six weeks, but the first theme is Festive Feast for Fall, which I am so here for. You can check out their YouTube channel where they're gonna be releasing fun word games and lots of tips and tricks. The game is free for iOS and Android, and you guys can download the game through the link in the description box below. If you're on there, find me. I'd love to play a game with you. It's okay, everything's fine. Everything. Is it though? Everything's fine. That did not go as planned. It doesn't have like any marble in it, and I only have like four of them. Okay, don't laugh at me. There are times to laugh. <laughs> this is not the time. <laughs> hey, that was not as easy as the internet makes it look. I'm not gonna lie to you like everyone else will. That was hard. I don't know where I went wrong. I don't know where to go from here. I don't wanna do that like three more times. Let's like dip this in chocolate and then we'll insert it. So that way there's chocolate hardening on the inside. What next? I don't know where to go from here. I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan. I don't know if it's gonna work but it's better than what that was. With cake pops, usually I would dip the stick in chocolate and then put it in, but that's not what I saw other people do. But this time I'm gonna do that to try to get enough chocolate in there and get it sealed around the stick. The second cake sickle, I wanna do this look. I really, really love it. I feel like it looks so bougie and fancy, um, except I couldn't find dark pink sparkly pearls but the lady at the store said that I could just color dust them. They look a little different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, they are exactly the same. I'm pretty sure she said you need to use silver balls. Are you sure? I'm like positive. I thought you could use any. I have to have silver ones, so we'll see. I'm gonna be very unimpressed if this also doesn't work. I was pretty skeptical when she told me that this would work. I know, so was I. But I was like, no, I need the dark pink for the look I'm going for. She's like, yeah, no problem. You can just shake this dust. Oh yeah, there's all the dust. With balls and it'll die them. Why is everybody lying to me today? The internet's lying to me. The lady at the store lied to me. Now what? I think we're just gonna have to carry on without the dark pink, which sucks because I felt like that was gonna be a look. But I think we can still achieve it. I just... I really need those dark pink pearls. Oh, God. It looks like a five-year-old did it. Oh. Okay, let's do some, hit it with some color dust. This is like a chunky gold. And then I've got like a fine gold. It's just not the look. But we're, we're gonna, the next one. Next one's gonna be good. <laughs> This one's just gonna be solid white because I wanna dust it like like a really fancy, like I'm looking for like a gold and dust the whole thing gold. Why are you already look like this isn't gonna work? He's like, yeah, you've said that, like this one's gonna be great. The last one, I wanted to have some like serious fall vibes. I really wanted to be like inspired by the new Words of Friends 2 update. So I wanted to do a fall like pattern 
But with everything failing today, I don't know how this is gonna look. Oh. Oh my. Not exactly what I was going for. I was going for more marble than like striped, but like, considering everything that's happened today, I'm gonna call it a win. These need to set before I do their next layer, so let's finish the, the heart, the heart ones. Yeah, those still need cake pop dough. The scary part about these, and kind of like exciting part, but like I'd say mainly scary, <laughs> is that we have no idea what they're gonna look like until we pop them out of their mold and they're done. Then I can add their final details on, but so far I already know the cakesicles kind of look like crap. But these ones still have hope. Then after I'm done squishing all of this dough into the mold, I just need to seal them with chocolate. I'm gonna put the finishing touches on everything and try to bring them back to life. to be the first to know that I hate cakesicles. I still can't believe that we took generic grocery store cupcakes and turned them into these, but the cakesicles caused me so much headaches and the hearts are so cute and we're so easy. So 10 out of 10, recommend the hearts. And thank you so much to Zinga's Words of Friends too for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the game through the link in the description box below.